In a move that few could have anticipated, King Charles III, head of the British monarchy, has taken an unprecedented step that has sent shockwaves across the globe. The announcement that his sister, Princess Anne, will ascend to the role of queen has left both royal insiders and the general public in disbelief, igniting a whirlwind of emotions, debates and intrigue. As the world watches this historic moment unfold, one question lingers in the air, why Princess Anne and why now? The timing of this decision, as unexpected as it is dramatic, couldn't be more telling. For months, there had been whispers of change within Buckingham Palace, murmurs of shifts in the royal hierarchy, but no one could have predicted that the king would go so far as to crown his steadfast sister as queen. The announcement, made in a solemn yet electrifying ceremony at Buckingham Palace, was met with gasps and stunned silence as the crowd hung on every word spoken by the monarch. As King Charles III stepped onto the famous balcony, his face etched with a mixture of pride and solemnity, the eyes of the world were upon him. The air was thick with anticipation, the historic palace behind him glowing in the soft, early evening light. Today, he began, his voice carrying across the courtyard, I am privileged to proclaim my sister, Princess Anne, as our new queen. His words landed like a thunderclap. The crowd, gathered in excited expectation, erupted in whispers, their astonishment palpable. This was a move that no one had seen coming, a twist in the tail of the British monarchy that would reshape its very foundation. For decades, Princess and had stood in the background of royal life, diligently performing her duties, yet often overshadowed by the more glamorous or controversial members of her family. Her unyielding commitment to her responsibilities, her hard work, and her reputation for being the hardest working royal, had always been known to those who followed the monarchy closely. But to the casual observer, and had often been eclipsed by the likes of Princess Diana, and later, the younger generations of royals who captivated the media's attention. Yet in this moment, all of that changed. The significance of Charles's decision cannot be overstated. In the intricate web of royal traditions and expectations, the role of queen has always been one of immense stature, usually reserved for the wife of the reigning king. Queen consort Camilla had filled this role with grace and dedication, earning the respect of many after years of public scrutiny. Her quiet charm and ability to connect with the public had won over even the harshest of critics. And yet, King Charles, in his wisdom, had chosen his sister to carry forward the royal legacy, a decision that spoke volumes about the future he envisioned for the British monarchy. What could have prompted such a radical move? The answer, it seems, lies in the ever-evolving demands of modern royalty. As the world changes, so too must the monarchy. The traditions that once held firm now find themselves tested in the face of a rapidly modernizing society, and Charles appears to have recognized this shift. Princess Anne, with her no-nonsense demeanor and relentless dedication, represents a break from the monarchy's more glamorous past, embodying a modern, hard-working royal who resonates with the values of today. Reports from inside Buckingham Palace suggest that King Charles had been quietly reassessing the royal hierarchy for some time. Though Camilla had commendably served her role as queen consort, it appears that Charles had concluded the monarchy needed a fresh image, one that would reflect the realities of the 21st century while remaining deeply rooted in tradition. And who better to embody this balance than Princess Anne? Princess Anne has always been something of an enigma within the royal family. Born in 1950, she was raised in the full glare of public attention, yet she has consistently carved her own path, avoiding the scandals and controversies that have plagued some of her relatives. As a young woman, she was a competitive equestrian, even representing Britain in the Olympics, but it was her later work in charitable endeavors that truly defined her legacy. Over the years, she has quietly become one of the most respected members of the royal family, completing hundreds of royal engagements each year, and devoting herself to causes that she cares deeply about, particularly those related to sports, children, and the welfare of animals. This tireless dedication has earned her a reputation as the hardest-working royal, a title that few would dispute. While others have courted the media's attention, Princess, 
and has rolled up her sleeves and gotten to work, fulfilling her duties with a sense of purpose and dignity that has won her the admiration of many. And now, with the title of queen before her, it seems that her moment in the spotlight has finally arrived. But with this ascension comes a cloud of uncertainty. What does this mean for Camilla, the current queen consort? Her journey to public acceptance has been anything but smooth. Once vilified by the press, Camilla has worked tirelessly to earn the public's trust, and in recent years, she has become a beloved figure within the royal family. Her down-to-earth nature and ability to connect with the British public have made her a vital part of the monarchy. Yet, with the crowning of princess and questions about Camilla's future role within the royal family have begun to surface. Speculation is rife. Some royal watchers believe that this decision reflects a broader shift in the monarchy, a move toward creating a more relatable institution that speaks to the concerns of a modern world. In contrast to Camilla's refinement and traditional approach, Princess and represents a more grounded, practical royal, one who is unafraid to challenge the status quo. Could this be the image that King Charles wants to project as the monarchy moves forward into the future? As news of this historic announcement spread, social media erupted with reactions. Hashtags such as hashtag Queen Anne and hashtag crowning moment began trending worldwide, as admirers of the princess celebrated her long overdue recognition. Finally, one tweet proclaimed, a queen who knows how to roll up her sleeves. Others echoed similar sentiments, praising princess Anne's work ethic and commitment to her duties. For many, her ascension to the role of queen symbolizes a new chapter for the monarchy, one that values hard work, dedication, and authenticity over glamour and spectacle. But not everyone is convinced. Skeptics have raised concerns about whether princess and possesses the charisma and public appeal necessary for the role of queen. Can she connect with the public in the same way that Camilla has? Will her no-nonsense approach resonate with the younger generations of royal watchers? These questions, though speculative, have added to the growing tension surrounding this historic moment. As the debate rages on, one thing is certain, the British monarchy is in the midst of a transformation, and Princess Anne's rise to the throne marks a pivotal moment in its history. Her crowning is more than just a personal achievement, it represents the monarchy's evolving identity in a world that is rapidly changing. Princess Anne's path to this moment has been nothing short of extraordinary. Born into royalty, she has spent a lifetime serving her country, often in the shadows of more publicly celebrated figures. Yet those who know her story understand that her contribution to the monarchy goes far beyond ceremonial duties. Anne's ability to remain steadfast, even in the face of enormous challenges, has cemented her as a critical force within the royal family. Now, at this critical juncture in history, her long-standing dedication to duty has earned her the highest honor imaginable. The world remains captivated by the intricacies of this royal decision, each new detail adding fuel to the already blazing global conversation. It is rare to witness such a dramatic reshuffling of royal roles, especially in a monarchy as steeped in tradition as Britain's. But perhaps what is most striking about this moment is the grace with which both Princess and in Queen Consort Camilla have approached the unfolding drama. There has been no public dissent, no outward sign of tension between the two women, a testament to their shared commitment to upholding the dignity of the crown, even as their respective roles shift. Indeed, behind the grandeur of royal life, there is a deep and abiding sense of responsibility that few can fully comprehend. For decades, Camilla has played her part as the queen consort with unwavering loyalty to her husband and the institution of the monarchy. Her path was never easy. From her controversial marriage to King Charles to her battles with public perception, she has consistently proven her ability to navigate the complexities of royal life. Yet even as the tide of public opinion has shifted in her favor, and she has won the hearts of many with her warmth and authenticity, it is clear that the monarchy itself is evolving, and with it, so must the individuals who serve within its ranks. As Princess and steps into the role of Queen, 
she brings with her a vision of royalty that is deeply pragmatic and undeniably modern. This is not a queen who will be content to simply wave from balconies and attend state dinners. Anne's track record speaks for itself, she is a woman of action, a leader who thrives on hard work and meaningful contributions to society. Whether it is her dedication to charities, her work as an advocate for animal welfare, or her involvement in sports organizations, and has consistently proven that her royal title is not just a ceremonial one, it is a platform for real and lasting impact. This pragmatic approach is what many believe sets and apart from her predecessors and positions her as the ideal figurehead for the modern monarchy. In an age where transparency and authenticity are valued more than ever, and no frills attitude and relentless commitment to service make her an appealing and relatable figure. She is not a queen who will shy away from the tough issues, nor will she be content to rest on the laurels of tradition. Instead, she will continue to push the monarchy forward, ensuring that it remains relevant and responsive to the needs of the people it serves. Yet as in Star Rises, the conversation around Camilla's future continues to simmer. While there is no indication that Camilla's role will be diminished in any formal capacity, there is no denying that the balance of power within the royal family is shifting. Camilla, who once stood as the embodiment of tradition and refinement, now finds herself juxtaposed against Anne's embodiment of modernity and hard work. It is a contrast that has sparked countless discussions among royal watchers, with some questioning whether Camilla's more traditional approach to royalty still has a place in the evolving landscape of the monarchy. For now, the official line from Buckingham Palace is one of unity. Both Anne and Camilla are said to be fully supportive of each other, understanding the immense responsibility that comes with their respective roles. And indeed, there is no reason to believe that this dynamic cannot work. After all, the monarchy has always thrived on balance, balancing tradition with progress, formality with approachability, and public duty with personal identity. In many ways, Anne and Camilla represent two sides of the same coin, each bringing their own strengths to the table as the monarchy continues to navigate the complexities of the 21st century. As the world watches these developments unfold, the anticipation only grows. What will Princess Anne's reign as queen look like? How will she redefine the role in a way that honors the past while looking toward the future? These are the questions that royal observers and the general public alike are eager to see answered in the coming months and years. And while the future of the monarchy may still be unwritten, one thing is clear, Princess Anne's ascension to the throne marks a watershed moment in the history of the British royal family. It is a moment that underscores the monarchy's ability to adapt, to evolve, and to remain a vital institution in an ever-changing world. As the sun set on Buckingham Palace that historic evening, the excitement in the air was palpable. The world had just witnessed a seismic shift in the royal family's dynamics, and the implications of that shift would be felt for generations to come. For Princess Anne, this was not just the culmination of a lifetime of service, it was the beginning of a new chapter, one that would see her stepping into a role she was born for but never expected to claim. In the days following the announcement, tributes poured in from across the globe. Royal families from other nations sent their congratulations, while political leaders from around the world acknowledged the significance of the moment. Public figures, celebrities, and ordinary citizens alike took to social media to share their thoughts on the new queen. And while opinions varied, the overwhelming sentiment was one of admiration and respect for Princess Anne's tireless dedication to duty. Even those who had initially expressed skepticism began to soften their stance as they reflected on Anne's long history of service. She may not have the glamour of some of the other royals, one commentator wrote, but what Princess and brings to the table is something far more important, consistency, reliability, and an unshakable sense of duty. In a world that is constantly changing, those are the qualities that matter most. Indeed, it is these qualities that have endeared Princess and to so many over the years, and it is these same qualities that will undoubtedly define her reign as queen. As she prepares to take on this new role, there is little doubt that she will do so with the same quiet determination 
and unwavering sense of purpose that have characterized her entire life. The future of the British monarchy may be uncertain, but with Princess and at the helm, it is clear that it will remain in safe and capable hands. And as the world looks on, one thing is certain, the reign of Queen, and is just beginning, and the legacy she leaves behind will be one for the ages. The days following King Charles III's historic announcement saw a whirlwind of activity, as the implications of his decision rippled through both royal circles and the general public. Newspapers from London to Sydney plastered their front pages with images of Princess and newly crowned as Queen, stepping into the spotlight after a lifetime of quiet yet steadfast service. Headlines lauded her as the People's Queen, a figure of reliability in an unpredictable world. The public's reaction as it unfolded was a mix of shock, excitement, and curiosity. On the streets of London, citizens gathered in small groups, discussing the surprise coronation of the princess, who had long been admired for her work ethic but rarely seen as a contender for the throne. In cafes and pubs, the talk of the day centered on how this new chapter in the royal family would change the course of history. In the midst of all this, Buckingham Palace was a hive of activity. Behind the grand facade of one of the world's most famous buildings, the royal staff was preparing for a new era. The logistics of transitioning power within the monarchy were immense, adjusting ceremonial roles, organizing upcoming state visits, and making sure the royal machinery continued to function without a hitch. Yet despite the enormity of the task, there was a palpable sense of excitement in the air. Many within the palace had long recognized Princess and contributions to the monarchy, and were quietly thrilled to see her elevated to this new position of authority. As word of the coronation continued to spread, foreign dignitaries and royal families across the globe began sending messages of congratulations to both Princess and and King Charles. Leaders from across the Commonwealth, in particular, were keen to show their support for the new queen, recognizing her decades of dedication to the global community. Anne's tireless work in promoting international cooperation and championing charitable causes had earned her respect far beyond the borders of the United Kingdom. Now, with her new title, those relationships would only grow stronger. For the public, social media remained the heartbeat of the conversation. Hashtags like hashtag Queen Anne, hashtag Royal Shift, and hashtag Monarchy Modernized were trending globally as users debated the merits of this surprising decision. The conversation quickly broadened from simple reactions to a more profound discussion about what this move meant for the monarchy's future. Some praised the decision as a necessary modernization of an ancient institution. One viral tweet read, the monarchy needed this. A fresh face, yes, but also a face that represents hard work and dedication. And has earned her place. Others emphasized how Anne's ascension would shift the focus away from royal glamour and back onto the business of governance and service. It's not about tiaras and gowns anymore, another user posted. It's about substance. Queen Anne is exactly what we need in these times. Of course, not all the reactions were positive. A vocal minority expressed concern about how well Princess and would be able to connect with a public increasingly divided by class and political tensions. Her reputation for being a workhorse royal was undeniable, but some questioned whether her no-nonsense approach would alienate those looking for a more relatable figurehead. Critics pointed out that Anne's relatively private life had kept her at a distance from the public in ways that other, more visible royals, like Diana or even Kate, had not experienced. Yet even in the face of these critiques, the overarching mood was one of optimism. The tension that had initially followed King Charles's announcement slowly began to subside as the public came to terms with this new reality. In fact, many of those who had initially expressed skepticism found themselves gradually warming to the idea. As the days went on, Commentators who had once doubted the wisdom of Charles's decision began to acknowledge the unique advantages of having princess and in the role of queen. Even as public opinion swayed in Anne's favor, the questions surrounding Queen Consort Camilla's role persisted. 
While Buckingham Palace had been careful to emphasize that Camilla would continue to play an important part in royal life, the ambiguity surrounding her future created a narrative that the media was eager to explore. Could Camilla and N coexist in this new hierarchy? Would Camilla's presence fade as N assumed her new responsibilities? Or would the two women work together to define a new era of partnership within the monarchy? The British press, always quick to pick up on any potential drama within the royal family, began spinning stories of an imagined rivalry between the two women. However, those close to both Camilla and N were quick to dismiss such rumors. Friends of Camilla told reporters that she had always known her role would evolve over time, and that she supported Princess N's ascension wholeheartedly. There's no bad blood here, one source claimed. Camilla understands the importance of what's happening, and she's ready to help in any way she can. For N's part, those who knew her best described her as someone who had never sought the spotlight, but would not shy away from it now that the responsibility had been placed on her shoulders. Kate's situation has sparked a broader conversation about health and well-being, particularly in the context of public life. Many people look up to her as a role model, and her struggle has resonated with those who have faced their own health challenges. Discussions around mental health, preventive care, and the importance of seeking help have become more prevalent, highlighting that even those who appear to have it all can face significant personal battles. As the world continues to navigate the complexities of health care and support, Kate's story serves as a reminder that vulnerability is a part of the human experience. The royal family's openness about their struggles can encourage others to share their own stories and seek the help they need. As Kate continues her journey toward recovery, the royal family remains optimistic. The road may be long, but with a strong support system and a positive outlook, there is hope for brighter days ahead. The public's response has been overwhelmingly supportive, with messages of love and encouragement flooding in from around the world. Kate's resilience and determination to overcome this challenge inspire many. Her journey is a testament to the strength of the human spirit, reminding us all that battles fought in private can be just as significant as those fought in public. As she takes the time to heal, the royal family is united in their commitment to support her every step of the way. In the face of adversity, Kate Middleton's actions is one of strength, vulnerability, and hope. As she navigates this difficult chapter, she exemplifies the importance of family, support, and the courage to face life's challenges. The royal family's journey reminds us that behind the crowns and titles are real people with real struggles. In sharing her story, Kate not only honors her own experience but also sheds light on the importance of compassion and understanding in our communities.